Hello friends, welcome back to our channel. So in the previous session we have seen one layer, the first layer of uh, OSA layer architecture that is a physical layer. And today's session we will go with the one more layer that is data link layer. Right. So in the physical layer we have seen that this physical layer is responsible to establish and de uh, deactivation of the physical connection between two devices and also the data is will be in form of bits that means either zeros or ones. Now coming to this data link layer here the data is represented in terms of frames. So the raw bits will be converted into frames. Data is represented in frames. Right. Next. And also this is responsible to transmit the error free data from one device to another device. So it is responsible to transmit error free data. Right. So it is also responsible for reliable and efficient communication between one device with to another device that means no corruption should be done on data so also responsible reliable and Efficient communication So responsible to get this reliable and efficient communication that means the data should not be corrupted right so in between the transmission now so This is how the data link layer works and the responsibilities and we will see the functions of this data link layer The first function is framing. Framing. So the raw bits will be converted as a frames by adding a few more bits uh, as a header and trailer. So these are the bits, and to these bits, we add some header here and some trailer here. So this completely called as frame and these frames will be transferred from one device to another device right so that means this is also responsible for data format in a network responsible to define a data format in a network so that means this frame will be transmitted from one device to another device so this is called a framing and the bits the some header that means this is also some sort of bits right so some bits will be added at the header side and also added at the trailer so by adding this header and trailer to these bits will give a frame and these frames will be transferred from one system to another system. This is called a framing. So all this will be done in data link layer. Now, physical addressing. See, this is one more functionality of this uh, data link layer. Physical addressing means, so here, the uh, destination address will be included in this frame as a header. So, with the help of this header, the data will be transmitted to the destination address. So, the 
the destination hardware error i uh, sorry address hardware address will be included as header so so in the previous uh, function we have said that frame is defined by adding some bits at the front of the bits and at the end of the bits so at the front of the bits we call it as a header and in this header it consists of the destination hardware address that means either uh, source or destination i mean sender or receiver the destination address will be presented in a header so based upon this address the data will be transferred or transmitted to the destination right so this is one more and we'll see another the third one error control so just now we have said that this data link layer is responsible to transmit the error free data so for this purpose some sort of bits will be calculated and those bits will be added to this frame before sending from the source so that bits are called as cyclic redundancy code some techniques will be included in order to uh, identify these errors so th those cyclic redundancy code will be added to the frame that is nothing but our trailer so error control mechanism will be included will be calculated sorry implemented and calculated bits crc cyclic redundancy check this will be added in trailer right so header is having the destination address trailer will be having the crc that means cyclic redundancy check so that the receiver will once again check the data whether it is been corrupted or not so if the data is corrupted after receiving then immediately the receiver will sense the acknowledgement to retransmit that corrupted data so for that purpose this crc will be included so if any error occurred error or data corrupted then the receiver sense acknowledgement to retransmit the corrupted data so this retransmission of corrupted data will depends upon this calculated bits that is a cyclic redundancy check so by applying this cyclic redundancy check some bits will be calculated and those bits will be included in the trailer so immediately after receiving the uh, receiving the data frame by the receiver the uh, receiver will check for the cyclic redundancy check and it, if any error occur or any data corrupted so immediately the receiver sends an acknowledgement to retransmit the corrupted data so that the, again immediately that a data will be retransmitted from sender to receiver in such a way this error control mechanism will be achieved so all these things is, will be done in data link layer so this is one more functionality of data link layer now one more uh, thing that is flow control flow control so flow control means the name itself indicates the control of a data flow that means uh, either sender or a receiver sends the data this bit rate should be in a constant so constantly the data should be 
transmitted from sender to receiver as well as from receiver to sender right so maintaining constant bit rate so that if this bit rate is maintained constant so that there is a less chance of getting the data corrupted so it is um, i mean no chance of corrupting this data right so this is about the flow control so this is also done in this data link layer now see data will not get corrupted if the bit rate is maintained constant both the sender and receiver and one more function is access control access control so that means if more than one device is uh, uh, sharing the common channel then this layer protocols are responsible to identify the correct device to get the connection so if more than one device sharing same communication channel then the dll protocols dll means data link layer protocols are responsible to identify device which have to get a control at the given time so at a particular time one device should be given control so this data link layer protocols are responsible for getting the control over the device right so that is called access control so no other device should get the control for the given time right so all these are the different functionalities of data link layer so once again i will write everything the functionalities so first one it's a framing framing so that the bits will be here and after the header will be included and the trailer will be included the header will be the hardware destination address and the trailer will be the crc cyclic redundancy chain and next one is the physical addressing the physical addressing means including this destination address as a header error control error control means some bits will be calculated and those bits will be added as the bits and this will form a frame data frame and this frames will be transmitted from sender to receiver similarly flow control so to maintain the constant bit rate in order to uh, avoid the corrupting the data to get corrupted and the last one is access control so at a time only one should get the access one device should get the access so that control is also responsible by this data link layer so all these are the functions of a data link layer right so hope you understood guys so if you are having any doubts regarding this data link layer feel free to post your doubts in the comment section so that definitely i will try to clarify all your doubts and if you really understood my sessions like my sessions share my sessions with your friends and don't forget to subscribe to our channel so thanks for watching thank you very much